UCF played, I was like, oh, that, that's going to be a tough game. Pitt, Pitt ain't ain't an easy get. Um, it's time for UCF to go back to the kitty table. Yeah. Yeah, they, they – you know what? I, 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 I know Kevin said he don't want them to do well. I root for them to do well, but I just hate when they just, you know, try to compare – See, I would, I would want them. I would want them to do well if they didn't start this. We're the national champs. We could beat you. We could, and then when you are offered the schedule, you don't take it. Mm-hmm. That's what gets on my nerves. I don't care where the football game is played, how it's played. What I don't care. If you think you're big and bad and you can beat anybody, then play them. Yeah. If you think you are that good, I don't care if they're playing the game. They're playing in Orlando. Florida only wanted this many chickens. You can have the rest of them. I don't care. Show up and play. If you had to play it in the Citrus Bowl, show up and play. Yep. It don't matter. Well, you're taking away our 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 home field advantage because you don't want to play us in a stadium that holds thirty thousand people. Are you going to make enough money to pay Florida to come play you in that? There's no money to be made for you there. If you want to make money and stuff, you go to the big stadium and play it. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't telling me y'all can take all them 30,000, 40,000 people and go to that stadium and have all them guys in the seats. Y'all can still have all them people in the seats, too. You just don't want Florida to have no people in those seats. Florida would beat the living dog mess out of UCF right now. I agree. I Florida agree, is man. that much better in the spots that it matters. Mm-hmm. Their offensive and defensive line. UCF has zero defense whatsoever. Florida would go up and down the field on them guys. And the defense, Jesus Christ, I don't care if you tried to play up tempo. Try to play up tempo when you're on your back. Because Florida would be putting that kid on his back. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a different type of athlete. Hell, Pittsburgh didn't even have that type of athlete and beat them. Yeah. It's just a, it's a different type of game that UCF fans don't realize. Well, we beat Auburn and all of them. And, and we almost beat LSU. LSU was playing wide receivers at quarterback during that bowl game. Wide receiver. Third string wide receivers. We're playing cornerback. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to hear nothing. Because <laughs> if we played LSU with third string with wide receivers playing quarterbacks, we would have killed them. Yeah, I'm like, come on, man, y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all got uh, y'all bit. got a lot growing up to do and and watching football before y'all start doing all that mouthiness. It's a little humble pie. I, I, I enjoyed it, and of course, they're still coming out. Some UCF fans like, well, we're still better than four. Like, no, y'all not. You know, you're not. No, man, like. Well, no, you, no, y'all got y'all got a good y'all got a good team, man. Y'all really do, but it's just like when you try to compare them to some of these other teams, you're not you're not comparable as Kevin on State on the east on the side of the ball. They have a good team for the conference they're in. Yeah, you have a good team for the conference you're in. Florida State would probably even beat them right now because Florida State has a different type of caliber athlete. Florida State is just shittily coached, <laughs> but Florida State's athletes are off the board. But their coach is terrible. Mm. And this is where I come in again. Coaching means everything, man. Yeah. Because if Florida State was properly coached, Florida State would be nasty. Yeah. They have one of the best running backs in the country. And still just crapping the bed like that, huh? Uh. Exactly. But the, the, the bad part is, they, for some reason, in the fourth quarter, Florida State don't know they're supposed to play still. Well, Tiger came from USF, so, I mean, I don't know if that explains anything. <laughs> no, it, this is why and it was said best by a Florida State fan. This is what happens when you hire a fan yep. to coach your team. Yep. He goes, you hired a super fan who this was his dream job and everything. You hired a super fan to coach your team. Yep. It's about the best way to put it. And, and I'm glad we, because he was on Florida's radar too. I'm glad we didn't hire him. I'm glad we didn't hire Chip Kelly. <laughs> you okay with Mullen? <laughs> I'm, I'm great with Mullen. I would have been okay with Scott Frost too. Yeah, but it, but I'm just glad we didn't get stuck with any of these other guys. Got gotcha. you. 
It was a fun game. You got, I'm glad we ended up with Moreland. <laughs> yeah. This was a fun game at night. You had number 12 Texas in a shootout with Oklahoma State. This always seemed to be a shootout. And the Texas They're ended up winning 36-30. So, it's not on defense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, Nobody no defense. conference plays in the defense. They don't. But the man. only time there was defense in that conference was when Oklahoma back in, it was it was our last national championship. Mm-hmm. When we had to play Oklahoma. That was the only time Oklahoma had a defense. Oh, Every yeah. other game was 97 to 94. <laughs> it, there is no defense played in that conference whatsoever. Nah. Nah, was, yeah, you're right. None. <laughs> They're like, what defense? Oregon winning number 16. They end up winning 21 to 6 over Stanford. Uh, Herbert, who is projected to be a top draft pick quarterback, come out of Oregon and had a good solid showing. So Stanford's terrible. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not good. Uh, Stanford's terrible, and that was the big win that UCF fans were hanging their, their hat on. Yep. <laughs> but, but see, this is the first time UCF has played two Power 5 conference teams back-to-back. Mm-hmm. You see what happened. Yep. Colorado. You win one, you lose one. Welcome to the real world. Yep. Colorado ended up being number 24, Arizona State, 34-31. to 31. I think Colorado's still uh, undefeated. God darn it. So Colorado should be moving up in the ranks here soon. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be moving up. Yeah. Sorry to hear about the fighting Herm Edwards. Yeah, <laughs> fighting Herm Edwards. And then TCU. TCU got defeated by SMU, 41-38. Uh, a lot, lot of M's and U's and <laughs> <laughs> A lot of that going on, on here. All right, so we we to move to week five, and we'll kind of go over the games in college football and make some picks of the ranked team. So, any real good ones this week? Uh, let's take a look. Number twelve, Penn State at Maryland. I don't know. Uh, Arizona State is at number fifteen, Cal. I know. Uh, Arizona State might beat Cal, but yeah. Should be a fun game. Texas Tech at number six, Oklahoma. Get to see Hurts air it out. Ball going all over the place. Um, Northwestern at number eight, Wisconsin. You got uh, Rutgers at number 20, Michigan. Where is game day? Game day. Let's take a look. Where is game day at? Game day, college game day. Where it is going to be? Let's see, Lincoln. See you next week, Lincoln. Lincoln, Nebraska. So that's where it's going to be. So the Huskers against Ohio State. There we go. Wow, you know, you know, it's bad. When they're you're going to that kind of game, I was like them going to Iowa, Iowa State. <laughs> number fourteen, Iowa is at Middle or Middle Tennessee is going to number fourteen, Iowa. It's going to the ranked games. Number one, Clemson is at North Carolina. Nope. Well, it would have been interesting if North Carolina wasn't already pooped to bed. Yeah, exactly. Number two, Alabama is at home against Ole Miss. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's some ranked games. You got number number eighteen Virginia at number ten Notre Dame. So as Kevin yeah. was saying about hey, you know, let's see if Notre Dame is the real deal. They put another ranked team back to back. Yep. Number twenty one USC is at number seventeen Washington. So USC, yeah. didn't, USC didn't move in the ranks. And should be a fun game to keep on. That's the afternoon game. Um, Indiana's at number twelve, number twenty five Michigan State. Uh, Tosin at number nine, Florida. Yeah. So Florida kind of stood the course at number nine. Yeah, they're 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 going to stay still until they uh, if they can beat Auburn. Yeah. Then that you'll see if they beat Auburn, that's when you'll see the big move for Florida. Nah. That's 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 Florida's make or break game. If Florida beats Auburn and comes out with not a lot of injuries. The next game is against LSU. Uh, and the LSU-Florida game will decide a shit ton. <laughs> that game, 
The next two games for Florida is the big ones. Yeah. Or the next two games after this one is is the big ones. Speaking of Auburn. And then, like, and then they play another big one. <laughs> Speaking of Auburn, number seven Auburn is playing home against Mississippi State. Yeah. Auburn should have an easy time. Yep. Number 22, UCF, is at home against UConn. Yeah. Who cares? Number 24, Kansas State, is on the road against Oklahoma State. So Making not- them poor-ass people from Connecticut come down here, and it's still 97 degrees. Ugh. Oh, man. Well, hey, it's a, is that a night game? Yeah, it's a night game. So it's, it's actually been kind of cool. I don't know how many that nights it has. I mean, I know it's definitely a little cooler up there in Jacksonville. Look, our definition of cool. It's probably, yeah. And their definition of cool. Completely different things. You know what? You're right. Hey. Completely different things. I, 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 I go justify. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> our definition of cool is 72. <laughs> 72 is not bad. They're like, oh, what? 72? But it be 72. It would be like 79. With eighty three percent humidity. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see, man. It's been nice the last couple of nights, man. When I walked out the building from work, so um, all right. Number, tw- uh, I already said number twenty. So that's when Kevin mentioned the the game day is at Nebraska. So number five Ohio State is at Nebraska. That's the night game. And number nineteen Utah is at home against Washington State. So well, there's, there's there's not. There's a, it's few, a, uh, there's a few games. It's a, it's a uh, slate of college football. This yeah, week. It's, yeah. Last week was really, really epic. But next week will be, next week will be a big, a big week. Next week will be pretty fun. Ooh. All right, so let's go ahead and do go to the NFL picks. Look at this points allowed per game through week four of football. Wisconsin is number one, allowing 4.7 points a game. How many? Navy is number two with 8.5. Ohio State's only let up nine. Georgia's let up ten. Clemson is only let up ten. And Penn State is only let up ten. Mm. Iowa, 10.3. Oregon, 10.5. Alabama, 10.8. And Florida and Michigan, Michigan State are tied at tenth with 11 points per game. Good Lord. That's how many points they have given up per game. <laughs> uh, all right, so now move. Florida leads the country is in sacks there it is. with like twenty. Crazy how that works, right? No, it's crazy. Well, they get, they had ten in one week. Yeah. <laughs> in week one, they had ten. Mm. Or week zero, my fault. They had ten. In week zero, yep. All right, week four, NFL. You got a Thursday night game. You got the Eagles at the Packers. Should be this is actually a really good Thursday game for once. <laughs> hey, for what? Yeah. <laughs> All right, who you got as far as the Eagles and the Packers? The Eagles, the Packers. Uh, I'm gonna take the Packers. Uh, make that too. I got Packers as well. All right, your Sunday games start at 1 o'clock. You got your Titans at the Falcons. Your Titans? They ain't my damn Titans. I'm going to say their Titans, sorry. <laughs> you said your Titans. Uh, what the hell kind of nonsense is that shit? <laughs> I forgot. If I ever hear anything from Tennessee, that'll be the day I did. <laughs> <laughs> and the rival continues. You already know who you're going to pick then. Go ahead and pick them. Who is it? Tennessee and who? The Falcons. Falcons. <laughs> I got the Falcons as well. The Redskins at the Giants. The new look Giants. Red. I'm going with the Giants. You going with the Giants? Yeah. Man, that's a Quan Barkley injury kind of threw me off a little bit. It's going to be a weird week. I think the Redskins going to go for the upset. It's crazy I say that upset because they both are not really that good. Yeah, they're both are pretty bad. <laughs> so, the lost answer charges at the Dolphins. Dolphins got a home game. Who else will show to this game? Go Chargers. <laughs> so it'd be weird we see more Charger fans at the game, even though they're across the country at a Dolphin game, Miami. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Miami still. 
Mine's terrible, yeah. I had charge, charge. Yeah. 